Fortnite has a lot of bosses, so today we are having a look at the evolution of all mythic weapons, items and bosses in Fortnite, including the secret mythic items that you have never seen before. The first ever mythic item Fortnite actually added in the game was actually unreleased and it is actually called the Mimic Chest. This mythic item is actually pretty awesome. You can actually deploy this and place it anywhere like a regular chest and if someone actually goes ahead and opens it, it actually goes boom, making this the first ever mythic item that Fortnite actually added in the game files. And since that was never released, since that was too OP, Fortnite released the mythic item for Thanos where you could literally become Thanos and use his special abilities where you could jump super high and you can also go ahead and smash any object. But the best part is you could also use your lasers which is pretty awesome, making this one of the best mythic items in Fortnite. The next mythic item that was released was the Infinity Blade that you could get for yourself and with this you would actually have different attacks and also it will make you run faster and regenerate your HP. Soon after that on Fortnite Season 8 we actually got some more mythic items where we actually got the addition of 3 villain mythic items where we actually had the Chitauri's jetpack, his blasters and his regular item and they were pretty OP and you could actually go ahead and collect the infinity stones to become Thanos again back on Fortnite Season 8 which was pretty awesome and there as well you could actually use a lot of different powers by collecting the different stones. And to defeat Thanos you could get some more mythic items including the Hawkeye's bow that was released on the same season. You could also get yourselves more mythic items and these mythic items also included the Captain America's mythic shield which was pretty OP. It would also include the mythic Thor's hammer which was first released on season 8 and on top of that we also had the Iron Man's repulsors way back in chapter 1 and all of this was added on one huge update and as you can see these mythic items they were pretty OP. The next mythic item was released on Fortnite Season X and well over here we actually had the Batman's collaboration where we actually got the Batman's Batarang which will deal explosive damage and also his grapnel gun which would also work as a redeployable glider which was pretty fun. On Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 1 we actually got the introduction of the mythic goldfish and this would actually one hit any player that you actually hit them with. After that we got the addition of the first auto blaster rifle that you could actually get exclusively from none other than these AIs and over here you guys can see this is the new mythic item that you could actually get for yourselves and this was pretty OP. On the same update we got the addition of lightsabers in the game and not only they would actually deflect all the bullets coming at you but they could also eliminate players which was pretty awesome. On Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2 we got the addition of the first ever Marvel boss in the game which was the boss Deadpool and he actually had some really awesome mythic items. Kinda getting out of ammos. I kinda saw this one coming but okay. We got Deadpool let's go ahead and clap him and let's get his dual pistols, there we go, we got ourselves the first mythic weapon, let's get back into the chopper right now. Whoa, I see a lot of loot over here, hopefully Myosils is over here, please be here. Oh, oh my god, he's here, let's go ahead and clap him. We got three bosses, let's go, come on, reload, there we go, let's take his rifle, oh I want this, thank you very much, let's go back to our chopper again. Oh, there she is, come on, let's get clapped already, come on, oh my god. Come on, there we go, please, give me all your stuff, thank you very much, I'll be taking this, yo, I need the grappler so I can exit this place, yo, come on bro, oh my god, we got so many items right now, now we gotta go all the way to the agency, and obviously on the same season of Fortnite, you could actually go to the agency and defeat the boss Midas, and if you actually defeated him, you could actually get yourself his mythic drum gun, which was pretty OP, and with that, came in, the amazing keycard vaults on that exact season of Fortnite. And let's not forget about the most iconic boss of Fortnite, which was the boss Brutus. Now this boss was pretty awesome because he would actually drop his mythic minigun and as well as the awesome keycard which would give us some amazing loot. And as you can see, we actually took down the boss Brutus and if you go ahead and shake him down and eliminate him, you could get your hands on his mythic minigun. 
And well, let's not forget about the henchmen which used to be at Oil Rig defending T and Tina. Because if you actually went ahead and eliminated the boss T and Tina, you would actually get yourself some amazing mythic items in the game. And as you can see, we have taken everyone out. And right over here, we have got ourselves the T and Tina's mythic bow and also the key card with which you can go ahead and open the amazing mythic vault of Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2. And this is where the vault system was actually added in in Fortnite. After that, Midas was eaten by a shark and well, Jules' boss actually took over the agency and named it the Authority. And over here, we could find the boss Jules and she actually gave us two mythic items. And yes, this actually included the Jules drum gun and as well as the Jules grappling gun, which was pretty awesome because it would also let you use your glider again and again, which was pretty awesome. And let's not forget about the keycard vault, which also stayed in that exact season of Fortnite. And well, Midas was not only overthrown by Jules, it looks like, yeah, Meowsils was also overthrown by Kit, which was the new boss of the season and even the boss Kit actually dropped in two mythic items which was the boss kit's shockwave launcher and as well as his charged shotgun and as you can see this actually does a lot of damage and this is where the thunder pump was actually invented and this is how the second mythic item actually worked which were the shockwave launchers which were pretty awesome and fun to use so this is the ocean boss right over here and look at that we just got ourselves all the mythic items right now and plus, I also got myself the key card. So this is the new Chug Jug item. So as you guys can see, below, you guys can see my Chug Jug is not being replenished. So I can use this Chug Jug infinite amount of times in a single game, which is pretty amazing. So let's go ahead and use the burst, which is pretty cool, 55 headshots. And also, let's go ahead and open up the vault, because the location for that is going to be right over here. So you guys can go ahead and loot up everything. These are going to be all the stats for the mythic weapon, by the way. Which is pretty cool in my opinion. Finally, on Season 4, Chapter 2, we got the addition of the boss Doctor Doom, which was the first ever Marvel boss added on that season. And well, he actually dropped a lot of mythic abilities, which included his awesome mythic gauntlets and also his awesome mystical powers, which would eliminate everyone in one go. We also had the addition of the boss Wolverine in this season of Fortnite, and with his mythic abilities, you could run faster and also regenerate all the HP. So, yeah, if you actually did not eliminate the boss Wolverine, he would actually get back up again. And this is how the mythic ability actually used to work, which was pretty awesome. And well, if we're talking about the season 4 bosses, we cannot forget about the legendary boss Iron Man. This boss was one of the best bosses in the game because he would actually drop in his amazing gauntlets which would let you fly up in the sky and also you could use his unibeam to eliminate anyone in the lobby and the best part was we could still open the mythic vault during this time we also had the halloween update and boss midas actually made a return and was actually named as the shadow midas and with him came in his mythic item which was the shadow midas's drum gun and this thing was pretty OP. And as you can see, this is the new mythic item that was added in. With that, we also got the addition of some more mythic items. And we actually had the re-addition of the Tars mythic ability. But this time, it came in with a twist. Because with this, you can hail the Tars armor all the way up in the sky. And destroy every single structure on its way. Which was pretty awesome. The next mythic item we got in the line was the Silver Surfer's Surfer. And for this, all you had to do was take down these drones. And if you use this mythic item, it would literally let you redeploy easily and you could glide anywhere in a matter of seconds. If you actually went ahead and took down more of these supply drones, you could also get yourselves the mythic ability of She-Hulk. And well, with her, you could actually get super strength and eliminate everyone with your punches. And well, if you actually took down some more supply drones, you would also get the mythic ability of the boss Groot. And with this, you could actually regenerate your HP and destroy every structure in your way. We also had the addition of the Storm's Mythic ability and this was actually pretty awesome because with this you could actually push down any enemies or even break down some structures. We also had the addition of the Venom Smash and Grab ability on Season 4 and this is how it was first originally released in the game. 
We also had the Black Panther's mythic ability from the Supply Drones. And as you can see, this mythic ability was pretty awesome. Because with this, you could actually absorb all the incoming damage and release them back to the players. And this is why it was pretty awesome. We also had the mythic ability of a witch and with this you could actually fly on a witch room which was a pretty awesome mythic item because this was added in the same time for the halloween update making this season one of the best season for the mythic items then on season 5 we actually got the addition of the boss mandalorian and well the boss mandalorian actually came up with three mythic items but once we actually eliminated him we could only get two of his mythic items which was the Ant-Man sniper rifle and his awesome jetpack. We couldn't use his laser item cause well it was the boss's speciality but we could actually get ourselves the mythic jetpack which would let us fly and well with the mythic sniper rifle we could actually use it as a melee and the best part is it would actually work as a thermal vision making snipes very easy and very efficient. On the same season of Fortnite, the boss character was added in as a secret skin and actually was added in as a boss as well as Seldy Stronghold and he dropped in another OP mythic item. With this, you could literally turn yourselves invisible, so taking down the boss was pretty fun. And as you can see, you can literally turn invisible. On Fortnite Season 6, Chapter 2, we actually had the addition of the Spire Guards. And well, there used to be a lot of them, and basically if you went ahead and eliminated them, they would drop you the Spire Assassin's Key. And if you go ahead and place them, they will actually give you the amazing spiral boots which was the spire jump boots and well there used to be a boss as well so if you actually went ahead and eliminated the boss the boss would actually drop you a lot of different mythic items the first mythic item that was added in was the spire assassins primal shotgun which was pretty op as you can see but after that if you went ahead and eliminated the boss again after a few updates the boss would actually drop in another mythic item which was a uh, a pretty questionable mythic item but it was pretty fun to use because it was the mythic recycler which actually had unlimited ammo basically it would suck in any objects and you could use it as an ammo which was pretty awesome after that the boss raz actually took over the spire assassin and became one of the toughest bosses in the history of fortnite because defeating him would be pretty tough if you actually went closer to him he would use his special abilities and well it was actually quite rewarding because if you actually went ahead and defeated the boss you would actually get yourselves the Raz's explosive bow then after that on the next season of fortnite we actually had the addition of dr sloan and well if you actually went ahead and defeated dr sloan you would actually get yourselves the dr sloan's pulses rifle and as you can see this was pretty OP and worked just like the Boss Iron Man's mythic item. On the same season of Fortnite, we also had the addition of the Boss Zig. And yes, the Boss Zig would actually drop in another mythic item, which was the brand new Ray Gun in Fortnite. After that, Dr. Sloan came back again on Fortnite Season 8 Chapter 2, but this time, she actually dropped us a new mythic item, which was the Dr. Sloan's Burst Assault Rifle. And also, we had the addition of the Carnage's mythic item being added into the game. And along with this, we had the re-addition of the Boss Venom's mythic ability as well, which was the Venom Smash and Grab. And with these, we could actually even redeploy our gliders. And well, on that season of Fortnite, we also got the addition of some new Sideways mythic items, which included the Sideways Minigun, and also the mythic sideways rifle and finally we would also get ourselves the addition of the brand new mythic scythe which was also a pretty fun mythic item to use by defeating the sideways on the same season of fortnite we actually had the naruto's collaboration and with this we actually got the addition of the mythic kunai's of naruto himself after that we stepped into fortnite chapter 3 and over here, the first mythic item that was added in was the MK7 Assault Rifle. And basically, all you had to do was defeat the boss foundation and you would get yourselves the most overpowered mythic item of all time. Soon enough after that, Fortnite added in the Spider-Man's Web Shooters. And basically, you could swing in as Spider-Man himself by using his mythic items. And well, soon enough after that, Fortnite added in a new location in the game where we got the addition of the boss gunner and as you can see this boss is pretty op as well because the boss actually uses super punches 
Well, Fortnite is adding more mythic items into the game, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you want to have a look at that. And as you can see right now, we defeated the boss, and for that, we got ourselves another mythic item. If you enjoyed this video, then please use code GARU in the Fortnite item shop and click on this video, because this video is pretty awesome.